Botswana is one of Africa's most remarkable success stories. A peaceful nation free of corruption. A stable economy built on diamonds. Free education, free health care. Sarete Khama and the leaders that followed after him are credited for presiding over four decades of economic and political stability. But today, under the leadership of the founding father's eldest son, Ian Khama, it appears rankings and reports no longer match the reality on the ground. There are allegations that suggest that democracy and justice are under threat in Botswana. There is suspicion around the death of Humulemo Motsoledi, the Secretary General of the Opposition Umbrella for Democratic Change. Following his inauguration for a second term as president, Ian Kama went to court to seek an amendment to how the Vice President, Speaker of Parliament and Deputy Speaker are elected. He wants MPs to vote by a show of hands rather than a secret ballot. Another measure that suggests that democracy may be under threat in Botswana. I'm joined now by Mr. Duma Boko, who's the leader of Botswana's opposition coalition, the Umbrella for Democratic Change. Thank you very much for joining us on Africa 360. Now for us on the outside, um, Botswana is seen as a democracy, a functioning democracy, and also one of the success stories of um, African nations. And obviously, I mean, the BDP has been ruling this party for almost 50 years plus. Can't they be credited for this? Well, yes, they, they deserve some credit, especially the previous uh, three presidents of Botswana. They deserve some, some commendation for the work that they've done. But uh, with the current regime, I think those accolades would be highly misplaced, which is why we've seen the regression in terms of economic development. We've seen uh, declining standards in education and health. We see alarming levels of corruption. We've seen heightened insecurity on the part of every citizen of the Republic of Botswana. So any accolades that attach or accrue would accrue to presidents long gone and would have to end with President Mukai. With the current regime, those accolades would be misplaced. Now talking about the presidents long gone, what is their relationship like with the incumbent? It does not seem to be very good. They have come out, in fact, they've, they've, they have had to, to come out and, and declare that uh, Botswana is fast receding into, into, into a monocracy. They have come out, uh, President Masire and President Mugai have, have said this openly and publicly. And President Masire has, has come out and indicated that the opposition now is more credible than it ever was and, 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 and deserves to be considered for government. Let's talk about the incumbent president, Ian Kama. Of course, um, he's the son of the first president. He's also a chief of a major tribe. But we're starting to hear rumors of discontent about his increasingly draconian style of leadership. Just tell us a bit more about this. Well, yes, indeed. Um, he, he came in highly touted. He came in commanding a lot of goodwill. He was coming in from the army. He inherited a political party, the Botswana Democratic Party, that was riddled with factions at the time. He was uh, seen as the person to unite the party, to reunite the party and do away with the factions. And he did? And he failed miserably. Okay. In fact, uh, for the first time in, in the history of the, the ruling party, it suffered a major split that resulted in the formation of the Botswana Movement for Democracy, which is a splinter organization of the, of the ruling party and is also part of the umbrella for democratic change. Now, that was an event that shook the Botswana Democratic Party to its very foundations. One would have expected a leader to respond to these challenges by reviewing his style of leadership, his approach. He, in, 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 in fact, failed to do so and intensified his draconian approach to, to, to leadership. He has made the party all about himself and the entire administrative apparatus of the country is now a one-man show. So if one were to describe Botswana in one word at the moment, one would have to call it a monocracy. It's a government of Ian Kham by him, at best with his cronies and for, for himself. Now talking about the party, just tell us, does it actually have a grip on um, instruments such as the military or the judicial system in the country? The party as such doesn't. 
And the man himself, Ian Kama? The man himself has a grip on one or two institutions that by law he has control over. He has lost the confidence of the army. The army is, 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 is totally disillusioned. They have their own work-related grievances that they've raised over a long period of time. That began, in fact, when he was still in the army. Some of them have, uh, have persisted to this day. And the army blames him in critical respects for, for those problems. They, he has formed, when he came into office, he approaches politics and administration from the stance of, of what we might call a security neurosis. He is, is very paranoid. Uh, he established uh, the Directorate on Intelligence Services, whose mandate is very unclear, whose expertise is highly questionable. There is people terrible in the investigation of petty crimes, interfering with the work of the police, unaccountable to, to, to any, any, any judicial process. They interfere in the work of, uh, of the, the military because a lot of these operatives are drawn from the military. They interfere in pretty much every facet of, of, of life in Botswana. Do you fear for your own life? Yes, I do. And, and this we, we've stated so many times. Uh, not only do I fear for my own life, I fear for the lives of, of the other citizens of the Republic. We've seen uh, experiences very recently, incidences where members of the DIS have, have picked up people from their houses and gone and tortured them, seeking to extract information um, that we, we, we are unclear about. So th these are things that, that, uh, that scare everybody. Botswana is gripped by this fear. Everybody feels insecure. Everybody feels that their privacies are being violated. Their conversations over their phones and mobile phones are being listened into. So it's, it's, a, it's a reign of error and terror in, in Botswana at the moment. Thank you very much, Mr. Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this was uh, the current president of Botswana, or the newly elected president of Botswana, uh, President uh, Duma Boho, that's his views some 10 years ago. Interesting, eh? You would uh, imagine that uh, Botswana has fallen deep down under Masisi, but uh, only to get to know that it was uh, the same situation some 10 years ago. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you.